News time here on KCIM. Let's check back in with Nathan in the news studio. Thank you very much, John, and good morning, everyone. Carroll High School and Kemper Catholic High School speech teams competed at the large group Iowa High School Speech Association State Contest in Spencer over the weekend, and 11 groups earned top ratings. CHS, coached by Bill Polking, sent eight teams with six earning a one or excellent rating. From Carroll, that included one in musical theater, four groups in ensemble acting, and one group in group improvisation. Kemper, led by Robert Becker, Deb Goody, and Jake Goody, had six teams advanced to state, and five earned top scores, including solo mime, group improv, musical theater, and then two groups in ensemble acting. A list of the Carroll and Kemper competitors and their scores is included with this story on our website. All state nominations are expected to be announced later this week, and those groups will be invited to the All State Festival in Ames on February 17th. So stay tuned. Uh, Once those announcements come out, we'll let you know who those all state nominees were. Looking elsewhere, Carroll County Growth Partnership has announced the Economic Recovery Corps Fellow partnered with Carroll's Hub 712 project. That ERC fellowship launched in 2023 with a $30 million cooperative agreement from the U.S. Department of Commerce's Economic Development Administration and connects diverse practitioners with host sites to address critical projects for economic recovery. More than 500 communities and projects submitted applications, and CCGP was one of only 65 to be selected for participation. The ERC project's and various aspects of economic development, including workforce development, entrepreneurial ecosystem building, housing, child care, climate resiliency, broadband, and access to capital, to name just a little bit of what they'll be doing. CCGP has been paired with Jennifer Luengas Otto, a current Carroll resident. The 25-year-old is a second-generation American and brings a wealth of experience from her banking career and community involvement. The Hub 712 initiative, located in the new Wynn Innovation Center along Highway 30 in Carroll, serves as a business resource lab and co-working space supporting entrepreneurship-led economic development. The ERC Fellowship, spanning two and a half years, will see Languisado working alongside community and business leaders, fostering relationships and coordinating local efforts. Wayne Gasato says, I'm both honored and grateful for this opportunity to serve West Central Iowa. By coming together and working collaboratively, it is vital to hear each perspective and story and adopt a forward-leaning culture. This will allow more barriers to be broken for all and truly strengthen our region's competitive potential. CCGP Executive Director Kimberly Tiefenthaler says, this truly is a game changer for our Hub 712 project. To have somebody solely focused for the next two and a half years on the Hub 712 initiative, launching the physical space and pushing out partner resources from across the state is just what we need. We're excited to welcome Jennifer and begin the onboarding process. Lauren Gossado will officially begin her role with CCGP and Hub 712 later this month. The ERC program seeks to accelerate recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic in distressed communities across the U.S. by fostering economic resilience and transformative change. Governor Kim Reynolds issued an order Monday to lower flags to half-staff in honor of former Iowa Secretary of Agriculture Bill Northey. Northey served from 2007 to 2018 for the Iowa Department of Agriculture as its leader before serving as Undersecretary for Farm Production and Conservation under the U.S. Department of Agriculture during the Trump administration from 2018 to 2021. Reynolds says Northey was a great leader whose work ethic and passion for Iowa agriculture was unmatched, and Iowans and farmers were fortunate to have such a rock-solid advocate and friend. Reynolds ordered the flags to be lowered to half-staff immediately, and they'll remain lowered until sunset on the day of Northey's funeral, which is still pending at this time. Flags will be flown at half-staff on the state capitol building, capitol complex, and all public buildings, grounds, and facilities throughout the state. Reynolds encourages individuals, businesses, schools, municipalities, and other government subdivisions to fly flags at half-staff for the same length of time as a sign of respect. A switch gear fire on a ground transformer caused power outages for 576 customers on Monday in Carroll. That component fire began shortly before noon on the electrical unit located on Highway 30 East nearby Collins Aerospace. The outage affected customers in the area for approximately 15 minutes, and all but two customers have had their power fully restored within about a half hour. The remaining businesses without power were restored later in the day. Mid-American Crews, if you saw an image of that uh, transformer burning, had to completely dismantle the damaged equipment, replace and install new pieces, uh, all before restoring power, which was done, again, in remarkable time, under a half hour for most customers uh, to see their power restored. Baumgars in Carroll recently presented a check to the St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center for more than $4,000 from money raised during the store's annual Ladies' Night. Last fall, women shopped in more than 180 participating Baumgars locations, and the company collected 5% of the sales to donate back to each store's 
chosen cancer center, hospital, or ladies organization. The 2023 Ladies' Night raised a combined $161,000 and nearly $4,100 was donated to the St. Anthony Cancer Center as the Carroll location's choice. And you can find a photo from the Baumgars donation included with this story on our website. And that is going to be wrapping up your KCIM 7 o'clock news. For these stories and many more, be sure to check us out online by following us on Facebook and X on the web at 1380kcim.com or through our Carol Broadcasting a mobile app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. I'm Nathan Cohns reporting. Two things. Uh, first of all, yay, Baumgars. Great donation to the to the Cancer Center. Over $4,000 for yeah, that. And they've done that for several years yeah. now, uh, that, that Ladies' Night fundraiser, uh, which is not something that just the Carroll location does. It's all Baumgars mm-hmm. everywhere. Um, we're not really endorsing anything, but I do enjoy that store very, very much. But yeah, anyway, that's uh, a- they, that, their donation for annually has grown from like three to four, uh, two to three to four, almost $1,000 each year. Yeah, it is really terrific. And uh, B, uh, shocking news about Bill Northy. I mean, that was really unexpected. Nobody has said what, what the cause of death was, but uh, everybody has said it's it's a shock and it's just uh, not expected at all. Yeah, well, we'll have some more coming up later on today um, from Iowa officials who have worked with him when he was only 64. So yeah. um, very young. Uh, to to be passing away. But on top of that, uh, it was just interesting to read the response from Iowa officials on it because basically uh, Republican, Democrat, whoever, everyone kind of loved Bill Northey. Uh, and I, I never actually had a chance to meet Bill. Uh, it, Secretary Nag was always in the office mm-hmm. as long as I've worked here. Really. Yeah. So, but it's yeah, it's it's very unexpected, especially as you're talking to a guy who's 59. He's 64. It's like, whoa, wait a minute here. So, uh, yeah, we'll hear more about what that uh, what the cause of that was. Hopefully, coming up. And appreciate the update, Nathan. Thank you so much for that. You can find all those stories and more available on the website, the mobile app, like Nathan said.